defense is getting good. The defense is getting good. I'm just waiting on people like KD, uh, Dukesy, or Mystic Nino, this nigga trash, to make a video on how you do defense and show your fans and everybody else to be in the chat room and you're lying to them. All right? You know things that other people don't know. And you don't tell these people because you don't want them to get better at the game. And I don't respect guys like that, especially on these mobile games, man. Let's get it. Seven. This is coming from the dude who quits games so that he can keep this 98 win percentage. I swear if you give him an L for every game he quit before he was about to lose, he'd have no higher than a 50 win rate. SBA Nation, it's your boy KD, and we back with another video. Now, I'm gonna show you a clip from like Air Fendi's like video before live, and he literally calls me out and says, I lied to my subs, and that we don't tell them, or he mentioned three people, but I think it was me, Dukes, and Mino. He said, we, we are lying to our subs and we know things that they don't know and we're trying to stop them from getting better now right off the bat this is a complete lie because like anyone on this like anyone on this game can tell you that i'm probably one of the most helpful people on the game period i'm not just saying it as someone who makes sba content I'm literally saying I'm one of the most helpful people on this game. And you could ask any one of that. That's why I have so much respect from OGs. Obliging to his demands, I'm going to make a tips and tricks video. Here's the crazy part about this. Now, if you look up in at the time, it's 2.51. That's not PM. This is AM. I literally got up to edit the, the video because I already had recorded this and a uh, voice was gone. There was no voice. I couldn't get it to do any voice. Mm, I would have been too confused trying to voice over what I recorded. So anyway, enough with the intro, let's get into the video. Now the first tip is for any guards or or centers or whatever whatever position you like centers this shouldn't even matter to centers because centers and power forward shouldn't even be dribbling in my opinion but anyway if you have the bar dribble on take it off right now that is the main reason you will be see i haven't unlocked on this character because i just bought this but this is the main reason why people get a lot of turnovers and they sell in possessions when they if they dribble most likely is because of back dribble because the behind the back is so slow let me click on it let me see if i can see it because in game that behind the back is so slow it allows you to defend it come in front of you and steal the ball effortlessly so the first thing you want to do is take it off just get rid of it Stop it. next thing you want to do is for like guards forwards now the it depends if for a power forward and center it depends if you have like a, a um like a 90 overall plus uh player what you want to do immediately is, is get you floater floater is probably the easiest two points <laughs> if you need two points quickly all you gotta do is drive to the paint, double tap the shoot button. But the second time you tap the shoot button, just hold it very like half a second, literally. Just hold it down a little bit, right? And once it's yellow, see, I can shoot it any kind of way. Once it's yellow, it's pretty much good. Like the only time you will miss a floater is if you have a center on you and that center gets a extremely good contest now if you want to fade like floater it takes a lot of practice to actually master and so for fading contrary to popular belief it's better to shoot moving fades rather than 
stand in phase. The stand in phase, you have to green them or they probably gonna miss. See, if she stand in phase, yeah. They're a little like for inexperienced ones. Now, but if you do moving phase, you can white them sometimes. You could actually make white sometimes. But they have to be extremely close to the line. See? I don't know why I'm making so much. Okay. Okay, so quick side note. I just want to make mention of this, right? Okay, in his video against GTA, he said he likes to catch them off their 1105, right? The crazy part about this is, if you watch my channel, you see I've beaten this dude with low, low overall, right? This is aside from the whole tips and tricks point. Like, I've never used a myth against this man, and I had three myths. Just a side note. Now, for new people that maybe have like, a, like 80 overalls and they trying to grind their like stars to be superstars and eventually, ultimately myth, right? Now, I, I've seen a lot of people with confusion about how to actually grind. So, I, a lot of people try to grind through SBB duels and that's a pretty ineffective way of doing that. Right here I failed to mention that you need to get 3x, uh, I was extremely tired. You also, for 2v2, you can also get to speed up by uh, doing what I did in the 1v1, but instead passing it to a teammate. Here's the best way. First thing you want to do is go and turn your settings to easy. Now, you're not playing on, I don't play online on easy, but when I grind, just so I'm more effective and I can get the maximum amount of upgrade points. For shooting and defense, what you want to do is go to 1v1, put it on 8 minutes. All you got to do, I'll show you, I'll even show you. Basically, what you want to do is easy to score on these bars because they don't jump for anything, they don't try to contest for anything. So all you gotta do, as soon as they get the ball, is run up and steal it, go to the three point line, and shoot. Simple. Any player that can shoot threes, just take the ball, and run, and shoot the three. Do that for eight minutes. On average, if you're good enough, you should score about like 200 plus points. And that will give you literally the, the maximum amount of points to your defense and shooting on another side note now i don't know if y'all ever heard this before but i've heard it numerous times this dude said fading is cheating now a lesson for for everyone that plays sba just because you can't do something doesn't mean the other person is cheating if he can't fade why is it my problem that he can't fade? You, you know what I'm saying? That's like saying, oh, he's good at mathematics and I'm not. So he's using a calculator on the test. That, that literally makes no sense. That's just jealousy at its finest. And also, I feel bad for the people who have to go against him. Like, it don't be fair. Dude be having 1.4K MS. Dude be teleporting all over the screen, but on his screen, man, he got the best internet in the world. It's crazy. This dude literally only beat me one time since I've been on this game. Literally, the second week I was on this game, the literal second week, I had a star Kyrie. That's all I had on me, a star Kyrie and a star James Harden. And it was in the duo match. He could never beat me one on one. Now on defense, it's really, it's really not how a uh, button makes it seem. So I'm gonna throw this on hard, and then I'm gonna go the one v one like I was before. The, and I don't think it, you know, I, I don't think that would be a good representation. The thing is, right with defense, it's just plain simple defense. I'm gonna see if I can get a 1v1 because it's like 3 a.m. 
as y'all can see, I've been doing less edits and stuff. Um, you know, it's to be honest, when you have to spend like an hour to edit a five minute video, it's really not worth it. So, I'm chilling off the edit for now. Okay, so on defense, it's just standard defense. He's saying that we got some sort of superhero cheat. I don't know. We get scored on too, you know. If we got some superhero defense on. If we had superhero defense, then I guess we could go perfect. I, I guess if we could stop any shot. Now, on defense, basically, you just gotta stay in front of your mind. You gotta try his best to predict when they're gonna shoot. See, I've never played this dude before, so. Aha, and you got. See right there, I reached and got the steal. That's a method you can use. You have to be extremely close. You have to be extremely close. The best option would be jumping. And you see, we get another stop. See, the best thing is to come on to your defender. If your defender is not someone that has, for example, the ankle breaker talent or any talent at all, play up as much as you can. See, you get a little teleport, doesn't matter. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, it's just a matter of playing actual defense. If you don't have no superhero cheat, there's no secret knowledge you need to know about defense. There's no... Oh, what's going on with my controller? There's no secret defensive... There's nothing, really. It's just regular defense. See, he read me right there. He get the bump, and then he stole the ball. And now the game is tied. I don't know who, see he's trying to manipulate your mind to believe that we need to cheat to be good. He just mad that he can't beat me. He literally can't beat me if he tried. If some money was on the line right now this dude cannot beat me. Right? This is what he's mad about. This is what hurts his feelings. This is why he can't sleep at night. He can't beat me. See, the reach tactic. Like I said, you see it didn't work the first time he shot right over me. Got him jumping. You just See, on offense, you got to be patient. On defense, you also have to be patient. But you have to be vigilant. You have to move with your opponent. You can't just be standing in one place. You got to move with them. Look, works again. You got to be close on your opponent, though. Just like that, we was tied like, we was literally tied like 10, I mean 10, 30 seconds ago. He was literally tied. I see, I get, you see, that's, it's just a matter of predicting your opponent. How he made it seem in the video that there's something y'all don't know. It's just simple defense. I can do this on literally any player. It's just simple defense. Anyway, eventually you're gonna have to play a big in a 1v1 or match up against a big in a duo. I'm not driven on power forwards. I don't care if they are 53, 63, or 103. Do not dribble on no power forward. You will get knocked down and turn the ball over. Simple. Just simple defense. There's, there's nothing. I'm not even a extremely good defender myself. I get scored on all the time. I'm not a good defender myself. I'm a decent defender. So I don't know why he would make it seem like I have some extraordinary defense. If y'all like come in my comments and say, hey, I have this problem, I'll help y'all with it. Now, you ever notice that in his like comment section, he subscribers will ask some questions. You never have the answer. And then when they like continue to ask the question, I'll just come and answer it. This video was just to debunk everything that he said in that little clip right there. There's nothing extraordinary about my defense. The defense with IQ, not just reaching, hoping for a steal. I 
listen to everything that comes out of Chinese mouth, your universal existence. Like moment of silence for those who think everything that Air Fendi says is valid. Moment of silence. When you're going for a rebound, what you want to do to help yourself get a rebound is hold the pick button. This is only if you're on offense. This is for offensive rebound. Um, hold the pick button so your the person that's jumping with you can bounce off of you so that it'll be easier for you to get the rebound. Yeah, man, and that's basically it. I mean, nothing out of the ordinary, just some tips and tricks. If y'all have any questions about anything that I said in this video or any other questions that you have, feel free to put it in the comments and I'll answer you, unlike some people.